What the heck? There's so many. What? So uh, right now we're going to actually do some uh, looking at some of the recent store pickups actually, which is uh, pretty cool. So first up from Books A Million, we actually do have Zemo from Falcon Winter Soldier. One of my first Marvel Legends figure, I believe it was actually my second one, and I uh, definitely wanted to try it, so I did get him. I really do like the character Zemo, so I thought it would be pretty cool to get his figure, but we will open him later. So, uh, but onto Black Series, which is why most of you guys are here. Uh, first up we got Bo-Katan, which is amazing. I've been looking at her for, like just for so long, she's been out of stock online. And I finally found her in stores, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I've been looking for her for quite a while, and I cannot wait to get her open. And then uh, we also got, I believe this was at Walmart for, I believe I got it on sale for like 17 bucks, which is amazing. But we got Moff Gideon, and uh, only one from that wave I don't have yet. So, glad to pick up him. And of course, the Darksaber is just going to look amazing. So, uh, yeah, super hyped about these guys. Uh, let's go and get them open. So, first up is Bo Katan, of course, and uh, we're just gonna start with tape right here. You know, everybody gets mad at me from opening it from the top, but I'm still gonna open it from the top because uh, I want to. <laughs> Jeez, I'm struggling. This knife kind of sucks. I'm just using a steak knife. I don't have my normal knife with me, and it really sucks. Jeez. I'm gonna destroy this box. There we go. You guys probably didn't see any of that because it was off camera, unfortunately, but this knife is awful for unboxing. This is not want to cut the tape at all. There we go. It's close enough. Let's get her open, finally. <laughs> okay, box out of the way. And, uh, like, again, sorry for the really bad lighting. I'm on vacation right now, so I'm on a <laughs> limited lighting so uh yeah pull out pull out her from her bubble right here she's looking nice do you have to say that face uh the face there again sorry for the awful lighting it's hard to get lighting where i am right now but uh that face is interesting i'm not sure if i like it or not it definitely looks like the actor but it just doesn't look like bo katan from the tv show of course that's what i'm mainly basing her off of so maybe i have a little biased with that but Okay, I just moved it so you can get a little bit better angle of her face there, but her face doesn't look that bad. Um, definitely from the angle you guys are seeing, it definitely looks a lot more like the animated version, but in person it does look a lot like the actor. And don't get me wrong, I think the actor did a great job. I know it is the voice actor, but like it just doesn't look like the actual character from the animated series. So I'm a little like disappointed about that, but I am going to keep the helmet on for most of it. So, I don't really care that much, and I think her with her helmet on is just amazing. I think it looks really, really good. Flipping around to the jetpack. Oh, I think the jetpack looks really cool, too. This is my first time actually seeing this figure in hand. I haven't watched any reviews or anything on it yet. And, uh, yeah, I just think she looks amazing. Definitely a lot of people's, like, favorite character now. So, uh, yeah, looking really, really nice. And then here is her just in a sick pose. So, uh, yeah, looking really, really nice. Let's get Moff Gideon open. Let's get her box out of the way too here. Set this back there, and uh, yeah, I need to get a better knife. This one is really bad, and I'm sorry you guys can't see it right now, but I gotta get those nice angles, and it's hard to get where I am right now. I need to find a more permanent setup while I'm here, but. There we go, we got it all open, and um, now we got Moff Gideon. His box just fell over, not a big deal though. Let's just get him out. So it looks like his cape is actually in a, like a separate um, thing. It's actually taped in, which is annoying. This cape is in a separate little compartment there. Looks like it does peg in to the back. I'm not a big fan of the huge hard plastic capes. 
but uh, this one's not terrible because it kind of is like on the side of his arms so his arm articulation isn't hindered completely so not a huge like disappointment on this one but some of them are just awful next up is of course the dark saber which is super hard to pull out because the like double lining here on this figure but we did get it out and the blaster I'll get out later so yeah, Moff Gideon, looking really, really nice. You gotta love the dark saber. I wish they would have put maybe a little bit of extra white along the outside rather than just like the clear color. But you know, it's not the end of the world. And uh, yeah, we have Moff Gideon holding it. He is looking awesome. Can't wait to get this in Mando's hand. Um, his cape doesn't really want to stay on either. But I don't know how much I'm gonna actually keep. I mean, it's Moff Gideon. I feel like I gotta keep the cape on him. But yeah, he is looking awesome i want to get like a dark saber for everyone that holds it so moff gideon bo katan sabine and mando i think that'd be super cool even a darth maul that'd be sick there's so many things you can give the dark saber to and uh yeah moff gideon is looking really nice he is having a little bit hard time standing up just because of how heavy that hard good cape is but he is looking really nice hey guys today is now wednesday sorry i haven't been vlogging a whole lot but um yeah, I actually have started getting my box open. This is just stuff I brought with me. And I uh, started getting that unpacked. I got Rex and Echo out here. And uh, yeah, so right now actually there's a news video I need to film because uh, there's a vintage collection four pack from the Bad Batch that actually got revealed. So I do have to make a news video on that. So let's go get that filmed real quick. Hey guys, today is now Thursday actually. And uh, I actually just got back from a yard sale and I found these uh, studio lights. I actually came with two of these big ones and then a uh, smaller one. And yeah, I got them for five bucks, which is kind of insane. So this will be actually my new like lighting thing. It'll be uh, pretty good now. So pretty hyped about that. And uh, actually while I was gone, there was some Black Series reveals as well. We got 212 Trooper, which is amazing. It sucks. It is actually Walgreens exclusive. But uh, we also got a uh, Imperial Crosshair and the Bad Batch Rex which are both Walmart exclusives, which is, uh, you know, all right, but I hate that they're doing so many exclusives because they're pretty essential characters. So that does kind of suck. And then we got a Power of the Force 50th anniversary Lucasfilm wave, which is also super cool. So I do have to get another video filmed on that, but I'll probably do that by the lake again. Friday, so. actually. And uh, we have to get uh, Ask Lugnan's Monster film today. You know, they normally come out on Tuesdays, but uh, we've had news videos the last like three or four days now. So uh, we're going to do it today, which is Friday, and then the review will be pushed back until tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I can finally actually test out my new lights now. So we do have this like huge umbrella light looking thing here. And then we actually got the smaller uh, tripod here, which I actually hooked up the ring light to. And uh, that one will be pretty good for uh, my main tripod now. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it'll allow a little bit of extra light as well. So hopefully this looks pretty good. And uh yeah. So what I'm going to have John do out there is I'm going to have him put together a set. Like the non sports car. This is original. Um, the professor told me, like, because I'm here for his friend. You know what I mean? So he said that if I found the right person, I could probably get 60 something. I got a credit card, so I can get 25% off. So today is actually now Saturday, and um, I actually did some shopping. I went to a few different stops. Uh, I actually got this uh, Falcon at Target, which is pretty cool. I believe he was on sale. Uh, so yeah, I got him. We also actually went to like a little collector shop, and I actually found a uh, uh, Bespin Luke, a Power of the Force Boba, and a uh, Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper, and uh, the Clone Trooper and Boba Fett are both mint on card. Luke here, his card is a, a little ripped here, but I got him for a few dollars off, and that literally just knocked all those guys over, but that's all right. So we will get uh, at least those two open later, probably next week's video, but uh, Boba and the Clone Trooper I'm going to leave on card. Anyway, the uh, pre-orders for the, the Rex, the 212th, and uh, the Crosshair all went up yesterday. And, uh, well, actually, the 212th didn't go up, and the Rex and Crosshair were kind of bad. So today I'm going to make a video talking about all the stuff that happened with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to talk about that and how it kind of just sucked. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, that will probably do it for the vlog, so I'll see you guys in the next one.